Next on the list, we have this news courtesy of Hyper Beast regarding Blondie McCoy's new Adidas's called the AB Gazelles. They look fairly decent, don't get me wrong. All black shoes with a somewhat gummy sole are always going to be something that I will for sure get behind. Um, they've got that sleek, thin silhouette for guys that have sleek, thin, shoe, sleek, thin feet. I do not. My foot looks like a flipping, you know, uh, elephant foot. So that's probably not the best for me. Uh, it's just one of those shoe shapes where I would need to size up because my toes will be scratching and rubbing against the sides. But if I size up, it won't fit. It's that kind of vibe. It's like a samba sort of vibe, right? Without the without the extreme padding, maybe because it looks a little bit um i don't know lightweight in that regard but it's a fairly decent looking shoe uh, it's actually because i was sorry not samba but it's actually a decent looking shoe but it's just funny because i was wondering if i was if this would be like i was wondering if he was going to call these like the all right mates i mean all right mate yeah, with that kind of weird faux um i don't know uh shepherd's bush cockney accent it's bizarre in it the way he speaks man really really interesting i don't know if it's an i don't know if it's an an accent he's kind of developed over time or if it's like legitimately how he speaks but it kind of just goes to show like it kind of just like is another another kind of example of that weird cosplaying thing that people were doing back in the day especially in the skateboarding community especially when you think of brands like palace and stuff where they were pretending to look like they were working class like they, they dressed like they were kids you would might see in canning town or custom house and shit places where i'm legitimately from and i have friends that are actually from there i went to school there and stuff and none of these guys look like that i mean they'd be wearing loafers with tracksuit bottoms and sovereign rings and you know drinking red like drinking the stella artois and what's like like what what cockney lad have you met that drinks stella artois with um 400 pound gucci loafers and a track hey that's tracksuit pants that's not a real person you're just inventing what you think a working class person actually looks like and you know for the most part these people are living in like labbrook grove and like you know de beauvoir and stuff it's like that's not cockney there's nothing cockney about it. it's in london don't get me wrong but just because you can say all right mate and, and stuff it doesn't mean anything but yeah the uh blondie mccoy's all right mates you put these on and you instantly turn into del boy or some shit oh but yeah they look cool they look nice i'm not going to lie they look very nice i i do like the fact that he does tend to go for this sort of silhouette more he likes his sleek shoe it kind of reminds me of um what's his name um olsen guy he likes a lot of um astro turfs and whatnot those kind of sneakers when he makes his skate shoes or when he's wearing them anyway especially when he used to be sponsored by nike he'd always be wearing kind of um archive or you know astro turf shoes that he or what are they called what are they call them in the u.s astro turf shoes or they call them something else whatever you know shoes i'm talking about like five side soccer shoes he'd usually wear them as kind of um skateboarding shoes because he preferred the sleekness of it and obviously it had a lot of grip because most of them are going to be indoor soccer shoes because they're going to be good to kind of um skate with and whatnot so yeah look pretty decent let's read the text regarding it it says following the debut of the inspired gazelle hybrid edition utilizing bits of the superstar and the wensley silhouette blondie mccoy and adidas are linking up once again to bring out a new trio of ab gazelles the english designer and skater looks to launch a new capsule apparel collection featuring uh following the release of the thames the silver jury for sure there's a flipping sovereign included there in it for sure for sure there has to be something to do with that or the big ben or something or some portrait of the queen it's like all right mate um blondie took the instagram to tease the latest ab gazelle in black in gray black and blue colorways also joining the capture collection taking a look at the slate black colorway the shoe is another hybrid variation fusing the gazelle indoors okay so there's another colorway too let's see the other colorway is a blue one I haven't seen those the upper stroke is a ripstop base oh it's ripstop okay that's the that's the material okay now so that's waterproof um to some extent or you know water resistant um it says here they're essentially indoor football shoes with high shine accents reminiscent of dress shoes that might be worn with a tuxedo to some bullshit charity ball who goes to bullshit charity balls anyway who even gets invited to bullshit charity balls some of these things that they talk about man <laughs> when you're just about to turn up at flipping miami out basil it's like no one what cockney person goes to a bullshit charity ball the closest thing that they do is maybe raising money for like the local nursing home by playing bingo somewhere but hey what do i know let's see the other colorways uh is there the other ones here or they're not they're just bluffing let's see if they're there no they're not we don't see the other colorways okay whatever um yeah it looks decent looks nice enough i'm sure when it comes out people are going to be hyped for them um they're definitely going to uh make it a thing he's still doing the socks thing yeah cool but yeah 
um, check those out when they do end up coming up. I'm not sure when. It doesn't say on the actual release or the article because it's hype piece and they just put out information with no actual real details from anybody. But hey, ho, what can you do? 